Hello everyone, it is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Wednesday, November 28th. I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast, and this is a very special video cast. It's number 100. So in honor of the occasion, I went out and chopped off the rest of my hair. I look like Egghead from Batman, but it is our 100th video cast, and I want to thank you very much for tuning in. Let's begin today with an update on Angus T. Jones. Now, as you recall, on Monday, Angus publicly ranted about two and a half men saying that the show was filth, asking viewers not to watch it, and basically saying he didn't want to do it anymore. Well, suddenly, the 19-year-old has had a change of heart and has issued a statement apologizing and expressing his gratitude for being on the sitcom for the last 10 years. Well, my opinion is this. It is too little too late because Angus ultimately expressed his true feelings. This is a show that's created a lot of controversy, but remember, it's in season 10. It will probably conclude in the spring unless CBS can figure out a way financially to bring it back. So Angus T. Jones says he is sorry. On our newsletter today, have an update on the season-to-date DVR usage. Revolution on NBC benefits the most from the added viewership via the DVR with about 4.5 million additional viewers. Second is Modern Family. If you base it on percentage, the number one option is Fringe on Fox. And always remember, when a show has a smaller audience based on the Live Plus Same Day data, once you factor in the DVR usage, the percentage tends to be higher. But Revolution continues to benefit the most, and it has ended its fall season and will not be returning until March 25th, which personally I think is a very bad idea. If you're a fan of the cable network sci-fi, Associated Television International, run by my friend Jim Romanovich, has produced a special called Sci-Fi 20 Years on the Air. It is a two-hour retrospective, and it will air on Monday, December 10th from 9 to 11. And one of my good friends in the industry, Tom Vitale, is the head of programming at Sci-Fi, and he's done a great job, 20 years on the air. If you are a fan of the FX comedy talk show, The Late Night Options, Brand X, with Russell Brand and Totally Biased. They have been picked up for additional episodes in 2013. Each will produce 13 new episodes, and Brand X is expanding from one half hour to an hour. Let's head to Dancing with the Stars. Last night was the season finale of the All-Star Edition. If you didn't see it and you don't want to know who won, step away. But it was, drum roll please, Melissa Rycroft. Now, personally, I don't understand why Melissa Rycroft is considered a celebrity. But she is. She won Dancing with the Stars. And I certainly hope that they will never go back to that formula of doing an All-Star Edition again. It really did not work. Now, on our website today, and I have a link on our newsletter, I have our latest conversation with Comcast Spotlight. I spoke to Kim Woodworth, who is the regional VP at Comcast Spotlight, about the concept of multi-screen advertising. Now, remember, viewers can watch television a multitude of ways. They can watch it on TV. They can watch it on a computer. They can watch it on a portable device. So I spoke to Kim regarding how they go about reaching the wide audience across all platforms, and I hope you will check it out. Coming up on the air tonight, we have the annual NBC special, Christmas in Rockefeller Center, which is when the tree at Rockefeller Center is lit, and it really signifies the beginning of the holiday season. And we have a new Saturday Night Night Live, excuse me, Christmas special airing from 9 to 11. In the world of TV history, because no video cast is complete without it. We have the 200th episode of The Andy Griffith Show aired on this day in 1966. Ultimately, Andy produced, I believe it was 248 episodes, or it might have been 258, but it was around that. And the show ended in 1968 as the number one series on the air. It spun off into Mayberry RFD, which ran for three seasons and would have lasted longer if CBS did not decide to basically cancel anything with a tree during its rural purge. And finally, Beavis and Butthead, the animated sitcom on MTV, ended on this day in 1997 after five seasons, but it came back with original episodes in 2011. And that is our daily video cast from TV Media Insights on this 28th day of November, our 100th video cast. 
Thank you very much for joining me. And I will be back with more news about my favorite medium, television, tomorrow. Have a great day.